Hello, this is Michael Grant with Applied CAX, CAM Applications Engineer. Today's video is in response to a customer support question in regards to uh, issues with open, opening uh, post builder files for Siemens NX. Uh, so I'll demonstrate here one of the uh, possible causes of not being able to open files. I'm going to browse to my Siemens NX 10 under uh, All Programs and then go to uh, Manufacturing Post Builder. I'll browse to this uh, folder here. Um, to do that, since I have it open already, I'm just going to copy the path. And now when I go to Open in Post Builder, I can just click in the top and paste the path. And that takes me to the folder. I can see now that uh, there's uh, one file. It's just going to show the PUI files, the PUI files. Um, you can see there are there are other files in this folder, but the uh, post builder is just looking for the PUI or the post builder session file. And so it says some or all of the files for this post are missing, and you cannot open this post. So a lot of times this happens when the files have been renamed uh, without using Post Builder. So if you go into these files and just right click rename or uh, select it and do F2 for rename and you rename all four of these files. Um, in some cases you won't have the CDL so it'll be three files. It'll be the uh, def, the PUI, and the, and the TCL or tickle file. In this case, we also have a CDL, but just uh, wanted to point out that there are times you won't have that. So one way to troubleshoot this, um, I use Notepad++, which is a free download, uh, but you can also use just regular Notepad that is installed by default with Windows. So you can right-click the PUI. If you don't have it as uh, Notepad++, you won't see this. In my case, I would just click here, and that would open it. Otherwise, you can say Open With... Uh, mine's already associated, but if yours isn't, you can hit plus, find your uh, notepad. Mine, uh, there it is, notepad. You would select that, and if notepad's all you have, you can just leave it on, always use that. And so next time it would open automatically with notepad. As I said, though, I have notepad++, plus plus, so I'll just do edit with notepad. And then this opens it. So at the top, um, it's telling you which files it's looking for. So um, in this case, it's looking for the. It's not even looking for the CDL, but I'll go ahead and rename that anyway. But see the name here. It's looking for is NX10, DMU50 Five Axis NX10. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight one of those and copy. I'm using Control C. I'll minimize this and go ahead and rename these. So I'm using F2 after selecting it and then paste, control V. Um, Windows 7 automatically does not select the extension and you might not see the extension. If you're not seeing the extension, I can show you how to turn that on. So I've renamed all of them. If you want to see file extensions, you can go to Organize, Folder and Search Options, go to View tab, and then uh, right here, you'd uncheck the hide extensions for known file types. All right, and so now they've been renamed uh, to NX10. If I go to File Open, it'll remember the folder I was in. I can select the NX10 PUI. And now my post builder opens. So the PUI file is kind of the uh, file that tells NX what it needs to open, or Post Builder what it needs to open. And so it's a good file to use for troubleshooting uh, issues with opening Post Builder files. And if you ever want to rename, I'll also go ahead and re reopen this, from Post Builder, do a Save As. So you just do a Save As, and then just go ahead and name it whatever you want. So that that renames all the components and then also uh, rewrites that uh, header information if you want to call it that in the PUI file so that it knows what the other file names are. So always use Post Builder to rename. Alright, well I hope this helps. I will uh, uh, 
be uh, this video you can find on YouTube and obviously you found it I appreciate it if you have any other questions uh, please contact us um, applied cax.com thanks